Ahoy there, YouTube! I'm back again for another new segment. This one I'm calling Kickstarter Checkup. This is where I'm going to take a look at a Kickstarter project and see how it's doing along whatever phase of the process it is in. And really, this one's going to be much more guided by people in the comments section who clue me in on things like this. So, I did a Kickstarter critique for Mint Mini. I believe in last September, I believe I gave it a C- minus or a D+, plus, and they, then I got a comment today, three hours ago. For your validation, you may want to check in on this title in about another month. It's starting to evaporate. This may have been the final push that did them in. Well, the shipping margins for this small game or less did. So let's check this one out. It's Mint Mini. It's from Paquetto. They do the Mint series of games, which uh, in my personal experience have been hit or miss. Some I have enjoyed. One of them, I think it was the red one, was absolute just hot garbage. It's one of the worst games I ever played. It was so, it was like laughably bad. It's like, uh, it's me and my buddy Brandon's go-to trash on it game. And you know, your game group has that forever. Uh, you'll have like, oh, this is, this is essentially the game that we always talk about. And is it worse or better than that one? And for us, this is one of those, uh, the mint, the red Minton game is. But, anywho, $10, already a super ambitious price, but it is a Minton game. U.S. shipping only, so they took care of the shipping, having to ship out international, which makes me wonder what's going on here. So, best thing we can do, and I don't, doesn't look like a co uh, dumpster fire yet in the comments at 233 comments, but let's check out the updates. So, prototypes have arrived. This is from March, so this is two months ago. Uh, we received the Mini Mint prototype last night and couldn't be more excited to share them with you. Looks good. Looks solid. Okay. Pieces, cards. Looks very, very good. And then, what is this? The lunchbox. Ooh, a video of the components. This is great. This, in my opinion, is how you build goodwill for something. That's great. And now you can take all your mint tins with you. Even... Uh, the red one's not in there, though. <laughs> They're not taking the red one with them. Uh, so the lunchbox, that looks good. This is a really nice. Oh, there it is. Mint Control. I think that was the one. Yeah. This looks great. I want this. I want, I want to buy this at a convention. I think they have a great thing there. Photos. Looks good. This is not... I don't see evaporating quite yet. Uh, look at that. Mint Works Playmat. That looks nice. Update. Have you started shipping yet? Hello. Are we still looking in April delivery? Or if not, do you have a new date in mind? When we can we buy the lunchbox? I purchased all your tin games. I need it. You can shoot us an email and we can help you out. That's odd that it wasn't uh, a part of the Kickstarter campaign. Looking good. I hope the lunchbox is packed very well for shipping, though. As the one uh, as the one thing I don't like about metal boxes is how easily they get dented, and they always render them difficult to close. This could have easily been uh, called Mint Meta, but I so this is not where things have started to go south. However. The bottom line is, five days ago, D.B. Irwin checked in. Uh, one month ago, Mark James jumped in, and they have not been responded to. So hopefully in the comments section, they are keeping people up to bat. All right, so getting jiggly. I asked the question about their status in a board game media and publisher group. Somebody showed a certificate of dissolution of the business on 5-4-2022, 12 days ago at the time of writing, with the state of Ohio. Very poor communication, but imagine they're embarrassed as a company. Also know a lot of Kickstarter and social media are run by third parties and are not the publishers themselves. Once again, all of this conjecture, third hand, but we're taking this at face value right now uh, until they come in and respond to it. Getting jiggly. Thank you for that update. I think that explains the poor read no communication in the last couple months. The thing is, this was not a long Kickstarter campaign. They didn't see this coming or perhaps it was relatively quick. In the last update, they were still talking about receiving the prototypes and such. Well, that or even the update was all just a lie. Some, sometimes things come out of the blue. Look at the Euthia campaign. The publisher thought they could go ahead and start working on and release an expansion, but imagine something on the back end. Maybe an investor or silent partner didn't like where things were. Yeah, so they raised, uh, I think, like 400000 They raised a boatload of cash, then they pulled. Uh, and this was a recent GameFound project, I believe it was, uh, from about a month ago. Again, only spe speculation what happened here. And with them... Uh, unless an official statement ever gets released. So, Addy, I reached out to their Facebook page, who confirmed that they were just a third party handling social media. Ooh, saw the notice of dissolution myself. Sigh, I feel awful for everyone who went all in on the backer kit. So now I feel like it's our job to do a smidge bit of sneaking as well. So let's go to Board Game Geek, the most comprehensive, best board game website on the planet. And, um,. Facebook, which is also a, a perfectly fine site as well, <laughs> but I don't have it. Uh, so Mint Mini, 
2021. Let's see how this is going here. Did the company just fold? No Mint Mini. I figured I'd just check in on Mint Mini since I hadn't remember seeing an update for a while. Last update on the Kickstarter was March 4th, and their website is now down. I'd be sad if this is another victim of the current shipping price disaster, but it's also a shame that the grader didn't come clean about it by the end of that case. Really wanted that lunchbox to cap off the collection, too. A pity that a series that standard started with a creator who was passionate, true, and committed to their vision and had a desire to please their backers community such a, took such a downward turn after Poketo took control. Unforeseen freight cost increase may be one factor, but it's certainly not the only thing that would have caused problems behind the scenes. Wow well, just noticed that. I replied in the comment section, but they haven't really posted anything. So yes, this is not this is not looking good. Uh, international buyers and Kickstarter. Let's check this one out. Uh, I'm really interested in this game, but because I'm based in the U.S., so this is eight months ago. I have to, so we're not, not going to get there. But let's check this one out. So Poketo, nope, nope, Poketo. That's what we're gonna. We'll just stick with the comments, all right? Oh my gosh, things are going off the rails. I got a baby over here. <laughs> she's, she's clawing my arm. Uh, so I went ahead and reported this Kickstarter. So where were we? Sometimes things go... Okay, so I went ahead and reported this Kickstarter. You can do the same. It's a button at the bottom of the campaign page. Before, if Kickstarter gets enough report, they can do something. It's my understanding that you can only report a project once. Seeing the name John Borges in this bio, I think Poketo is owned by or connected to Odam Publishing. After looking at their campaign, they also have poor communication, including a Kickstarter that failed to manufacture. The Odam website is also down, but they have been more recently active on their social media i've tried sending a message but they're but to no avail look looks like their website is down as well if they are linked in any way as a parent company seems all entities may have been dissolved oh no also i mentioned above a lot of their social media and crowdfunding campaigns are run by third parties which by itself is a very odd thing in our hobby you know maybe in video games it's another thing where you're making you know millions of dollars but most board game publishers, especially the people who are making these mitten games, I can't imagine the rolling in the dough. Uh, that's so odd. Ack, I can't believe I just decided to check on this new and now see a lot of troubling signs. Maybe they're another victim of the current shipping problems. Would have been nice for them to come clean with a final update if that was the case. Very disheartening. They aren't usually very active with communication outside of their campaigns, even on social media or the post. Dang, I'm having no response from Poketo. So I've reached out to the companies who work with them to ask if they could ping Poketo because I never get a product fulfilled. And I'm going to tag them on Twitter after this as well. Throw throw the feet to the fire. Sadly, some told me that Poketo stopped communicating a long time with them. In addition, a fulfillment company told me they never got paid after completing the... This is once again conjecture, third hand. Uh, they never got paid after completing the fulfillment for one of the campaigns and confirmed that Poketo never gave them my name as a recipient even though I had paid. So... So, Rachel Blake, who started 524 and rebranded Poketo, I'm asking you to respond to my emails. Woo! Shots fired! Rachel left Poketo in 2020 to work for Wide Wizards Game, and earlier this year started at Gamma. I don't think... Yeah, she doesn't work there. So, okay, shots fired, but shots fired at the wrong person, which is why it's. I'm glad that Richard came in there. Update, please. Get bent. I noticed earlier this week... That they removed all products from their website, and now I just noticed that their site is completely down. Oh man, that doesn't sound good. They've not updated in 60 plus days. Um, yeah. Yeah. Another plus one for an update request. Delays are fine. It's, yeah, so this does not look particularly great. And yeah, let's check out Paquetto. Ah, uh, Jalop. Yeah, Jalop, I hate you. Uh, so Mint Bid. Did people get Mint Bid? Did, is this going as well as well? Did people get the stuff? I'm late to mention this. I'm also waiting for my Mint Bidge. I hope we return uh, from your wrong way. I don't think they will. They ripped us off of the Mint Mini campaign. Luckily, it was a U.S. only campaign and not a worldwide scam. Uh, EU packages pushed back to Friday, August 31st, and then nothing else the rest of the time. So, Kickstarter checkup for Mint Mini. Not looking particularly good. Lots of red flags. I mean, honestly, at these point, these aren't red flags. These are these are red banners waving. They hired someone to wave, uh, you know, a red arrow for red flags. Uh, so, Mint Mini, man, uh, if you are a backer, you might want to consider reporting this one. I doubt Kickstarter is going to do anything about it. But there you go. This is, once again, why... I always go through Kickstarter pages with a fine tube comb because, uh, I mean, I, 
for your validate for my validation, I gave it a C minus or D plus. I believe was my final grade on the project. But still, I don't want to see this happen. I don't want to see this go out like this. Especially someone who would love to one in one day make mint tin games. But especially when you're making mint tin games, like it's just it's even more baffling to me how poorly this went. When you're making a mint tin game, which are very inexpensive for the most part uh, to manufacture. And part of the reason why is the shipping is great because how many of these, you know, a 500 print run of a, of a, a game the size of Cards Against Humanity, you need a huge pallet for that. A 500 print run of this, how many boxes you need? You don't really need that much. And it's just so weird. But there you go. That is uh, the checkup on Mint Mini. What is it? The Kickstarter checkup. Not, uh, honestly, this one's on the deathbed. I guess, I guess I don't get, I give grades on Kickstarter critiques. So, uh, the grade for the Kickstarter checkup is, is deathbed. Not quite done, but it's, it's not looking good. It is really not looking good. And hopefully someone from Paquetto, someone from Wise Wizard Games, someone from somewhere comes in and clarifies what's going on. But honestly, I expect this to go into the annals of unfulfilled Kickstarter projects, which is unfortunate. But let me know what you think about this this segment. Any suggestions are always appreciated as I'm trying to do things different. And I just, I know people have said it time and time and time again, you should go back and check this Kickstarter campaign. You should go back and check this. And so I thought, why not give it a whirl? So I appreciate your input. But as always, if you enjoyed the content, please be sure to click on that subscribe button down below. Also, consider supporting the Patreon. It's currently got a teeny tiny little baby. And so, uh, yeah, I have to do videos <laughs> with little babies. Say hi, Amelia. Her first video. But as always, thanks for your time, YouTube. Bye-bye.